Go. Welcome to episode nine of Conversation for Days. You're here with Kalilo and this man right here. Frankie. <laughs> what it do? What it do? Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about something uh, very interesting for you quarantined uh, folks out there. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you know, something that the world always goes through. This has been part of life. This is uh, mental health and mental illness. Mm-hmm. So both these things are very important. Uh, both these things happen to almost everybody. I got to say everybody, because I mean, in one way or another, we're all affected by mental health or mental illness. So uh, Frankie, I, uh, what do you think about this topic? Yeah, no, so I think it's a, it's an important topic to talk about. And mm-hmm. like we're saying, especially in the times that we live in now with the, with the you know, we're isolated. Uh, it's, it would be e- it, it, for people who are suffering from mental illness, or even just think of like, okay, if you have to stay at home for a long time, it can add up to stress. If you're, you know, struggling with certain things for, for bills, everything, stress. And stress is mm-hmm. the main, like everybody in their life will, will have stress for something. Yeah. That's part of life. But the difference is that you have that stress where it, it's temporary or can mm-hmm. even just be good stress. But we also have that, if that stress builds up, builds up and it becomes long term where in psychology too we say it's uh, chronic yeah and it can be one of the factors or main factors mm-hmm. that can lead to a mental illness that's true that's true but you know i don't know about you but for me i feel like i've been lucky enough in my life where my you know my i've always had like you know been able to maintain a good mental health i never suffered from anything like chronic like like if it's anxiety uh mm-hmm depression anything like that yeah. but it's not like we're um you know i can't have it you know it's something where you really have to work on your your mental health and mm-hmm. you know, sometimes we say like you know obviously our body we got you know if it's exercising even exercise that's one good thing that can help with your mental health when it comes to your mental mm-hmm. health but that's like probably one little thing out of there's so many other things that you can do to maintain a good mental health. Yeah. But before talking about that, maybe like, you know, ways you can maintain your uh, mental health. I was yeah. just thinking, or I had a question for you actually, Kalilo. So mm. how do you think someone with a good mental health to begin, it can lead to actually a mental illness afterwards? All right. I feel like, okay, when, when talking about mental health, a lot has to do with uh, uh, perception. Because I mean, things happen day in, day out. Mm -hmm. but it's how you look at those things and how you attach them to the story that you're going through in life. You know what I mean? There's like, people have goals, people have ideas that are very strong. And it's kind of like when that goal or the success, the success of that goal is affected, that's where mental illness can kind of kick in because you're stressful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is quarantine filled time. A lot of people can't go to work. They're missing out on business. That's affecting them like heavily because it's kind of like, you know, I can't sustain myself. I can't sustain my family. It's coming. It's like coming to uh, the businesses are coming to an end. You know what I mean? So it's like all these different things. It's kind of like uh, someone with mental health. They kind of like they see the good that can come out of a situation like this. Mm. But somebody, you know, with mental illness, they can find themselves kind of in a depressed state where it's kind of like you feel like you can't really find a solution uh, mm. for the situation that you're in. But it's kind of like, I feel like you can always balance, you can always bounce between the two. Like, if you feel one way, you can, you can feel like the other two. So it's kind of like, a lot of people, they have to find that mental health. They, find, they have to find that uh, mental health that kind of push them or put them in the right path, in the right direction to getting to that goal. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. But I think too that, and even that uh, relates to, I just started a new book and it talks oh, nice, about yeah. uh, instant uh, serenity. So there's an author, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> Tich Nhat Hanh. So he was like, um, how do we call it? Like a Buddhist. Uh, he, he was from Vietnam in the, like the 60s, 70s. Oh, okay. And, yeah. You know, he was, uh, he had like, he, he did so many things. He, he created schools. Uh, he, uh, he, you know, he helped even in Vietnam. They had like, a, I don't know if it was like a war or something back in like the 70s or something. He mm-hmm. helped that um you know in the u.s too he did a lot of like activist movement stuff like that so yeah nice nice I was like, okay interesting man and then i started reading the book and it talks about how like how you can find that peace and joy mm-hmm. in the present even with all of the like 
you know, think about, okay, yeah, like you're saying, like, you're always going to have those environment stressors and yeah. you got to deal with. That's not going to leave. But how can you, even with those stressors, still maintain, like, a healthy mind? You know? A healthy mind. Exactly, exactly. So in the book, too, it was just interesting. He, there was one thing. So actually, guys, I'm just uh, going on my book. <laughs> Let them know what's up. <laughs> no, there was actually some, some good things here. But uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, actually, mm. there's actually, oh, before I even go with that, I forgot. We should actually define what is mental illness because I think that, Ooh. you think that most people know, like, you know, it's something that's known that people, that we talk a lot about it. And I like that people have more, like, talk more about it. And people, mm -hmm. actually, if they suffer from it, some are mm -hmm. really more open about it. And that's actually a good way to, if you're, if you have it or you deal, you're dealing it, mm -hmm. that's one of the um, one of the way to treat it. It's like you have to talk, especially like people you're close with, uh, family. Um, that's true. Just to just get, because you know what ha what happens with mental illness too is that, um, which is mental illness, like when you think too much, mm -hmm. that can create stress. Anxiety. That's right. And yeah. It's like our mind it's is like saying too much of anything is bad for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too, it's like. It's, it's normal that you, we're going to think a lot. You know, yeah. that's this everyday basis. Yeah, we have so much things we have to think about, do. So mm -hmm. that's normal that it's just going to be there. But that's the other thing where you got to give yourself some time mm -hmm. to also do things that you like to do. Even there was one thing that's really powerful, how, okay, think about, you know, like when you smile. You think yeah. that's something that's like so like everybody does that. It's innocent. It doesn't really do something. But actually, when you, okay, when you think about mental health, so I'm going to, you know, pull up the definition. All right, go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> when it comes to mental illness, for example, it's, it could be, it's uh, health conditions mm. involving changes in emotion, thinking, or behavior, or a combination of those three. And, yeah. Uh, mental illness can be associated with distress and or problems, function, uh, functioning, sorry, and social work or family activities. So think of when we talk about emotion, that's okay. To talk, for example, with mood. Mm -hmm. So smile actually is something that's even, it's been proven simply it's like, if someone smiles, it actually improves their mood, their mood and it yeah. gives them more joy. You know, mm -hmm. think of if someone is suffering, they're not gonna just like, just smile. Most <laughs> time they're gonna have, yeah, they're just gonna be probably like, I uh, looked at it, maybe mean mugging or they're just, they, they, they look sad. Uh, yeah, yeah. They don't look happy, but when you smile, they actually there's like things with like endorphins and actually, like activated. Yeah, activated. Like things. seeing it. Yeah, yeah, and, and it really like inside it really does a difference. And uh, and the book too. So yes, the author was saying how um, smile on your on your face would indicate that you're actually the master of yourself. Like you're controlling yourself, and um, also, he was saying how another thing that's really simple, it's um, to breathe. Like, yeah. yeah, we breathe. But, you know, when we talk about, like, meditation or just, like, you give, like, when, especially in a time like now, mm -hmm. like, you give yourself some time to do things and just take it easy, breathe, maybe do activities or stuff that it's not, uh, you, it doesn't make you think too much about negative stuff or just exactly. things. You just, you're really into your internal. That's what it is. Like, try to find your peace and be internal. And that really, if you can just remove those, those, those thoughts once in a while and not always be like mm -hmm. thinking too much about, um, you know, certain things, then it can really, or an activity or just stressors, things that can stress you while thinking yeah. about it, then it can really make a difference. So that's, that's one thing in this book when he's talking about like smiling, breathe. So you can do like easy breathing exercises. Uh, yeah. Yo, you know, it's one thing I was hearing too, because it's kind of like uh, how, you know, they were talking about how breathing uh, is connected to emotion and how you can like, you can change or you can even control a good part of your life if you master your breathing. Mm -hmm. I was seeing somewhere, it's, it kind of ties into the smiling thing that you were mentioning, because it's kind of like, if you can kind of modify how you feel with, you know, if your breath can control your energy and how it feels, then it's kind of like, if you put on a smile, you kind of activate that a lot faster because that's how you are when you're naturally happy. You know, so it's like if you if you're negative and yeah, you meditate with a smile, 
you know, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes later, you'll find yourself actually thinking positively instead of thinking of the stress that you thought before. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, you know, you find people who are, who are in the world who like meditate day in, day out. Oh, you know, you do nothing. You know, they do, they do nothing, but no, they're actually doing the most as a human because it's like they're actually working with their body's science, you know, their body's mechanisms, and they're able to, to control it in a way where they can master their emotions, their physicalness, you know, physical attributes, their mental attributes, even their spiritual attributes. They can, like, tap into these things and use it to their, their success. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and, like, another thing that you were mentioning, too, about, like, uh, the mental health or mental illness Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, you, you got to talk to somebody, you know, like I like how all these bell talks and everything, um, you know, just like all these ways to reach out and ways for people to connect. Because it's like somebody going through something negative, mm-hmm. they're thinking like, you know, they're dealing with something that they might not have the answer to mm-hmm. or they're, they're not so sure that they have an answer for it or if they will find an answer for it. You know, that's why I feel like, you know, a lot of people, they, they end up maybe giving up. Because it's like you're in a situation that's so overwhelming and so overbearing that it's like no one, you can't find anybody that understands you and you're left to figure it out by yourself. You know what I mean? And then if you don't connect or reach out to anybody, you know, all that doubt and all that weight that you're carrying with you, it'll only get bigger because you're only with yourself and you're only hearing those thoughts. You know what I mean? It's like you're only hearing the negativity. If you talk to somebody, you realize, oh, maybe this person has been in a similar situation with, than me. You know what I mean? And then they're able to kind of share their positivity, what they learned out of that situation so that you can end up even smiling a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like that that sense of family, that sense of like, oh, you're somebody I can talk to when I'm at my lowest. As long as you have that one person, you can always come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because that's the thing about uh, about mental health too is that, yes, obviously the number one thing is that, okay, it's internal, it's in you. So I think that that's the first thing you can do is really, uh start with from the like just with you and then mm-hmm. there's your environment so really people that care about you like talk even when like you know for example for me like like i said like you know now you know yeah. my mental health is fine and everything but i always make sure too that like with the small circle of people that care about me like we talk and i'm honest and we talk and like if someone is you know it's maybe having a tough time like we, you know, try to get like the, as open as we can, you know, and like talk about it. That's right. We can really make it, you know, even if it's a little difference. Mm-hmm. It helps. And, but at the same time too, there's that part of mental health where it can be to like, um, if you have like a chemical imbalance or something that's in your genetics, like, you know, some people, they can have it from okay, if their father had uh, mental yeah. health, then mm-hmm. I have strong chances. It's really like any other disease. Like, you know, when I was reading to the article here, like uh, sometimes, Mental illness can be um, sometimes some people it's like they're ashamed of it, mm-hmm. or it can be looked at something you don't want to talk about it because yeah you're you know you have that part where you just you don't feel comfortable talking about it because yeah uh, you might think like there's something wrong with me, but actually yeah. it's like any other you have to think about it like if it's a health issue like if it's diabetes mm-hmm. or uh, I don't know a heart disease uh, a condition it, yes yes uh, it's a condition but that's something too that you can you can function very well in uh, like in yeah. life in your daily life um, if you treat it and if you work on it because you know it's just like anything else if you have diabetes mm-hmm. you're gonna make sure to do certain things not that not for your diabetes to kill you you know what I mean like right. that's right eat you know stuff less sugar with less sugar mm-hmm. that. yeah so Definitely. yeah you're right because like mental conditions they would be like uh, they would be on the side of mental health but it's like you know you you were, you know it's kind of like how uh, you attribute yourself to one thing more than another. You know, maybe one person uh, learns visually, but then the other person learns in a different in a different lifestyle. You know what I mean? So it's like the same thing. It's like somebody with the somebody with one condition will pick up information one way, will perceive the world one way, but then another person can perceive it totally different. You know what I mean? But then that's not like that's not necessarily mental illness. I feel like uh, if if they're not or if um, if uh, things are not, if the environment is not good for that person, then yeah, they may bring out mental illness because maybe they're with people that don't understand, you know, people that uh, don't like uh, interact with them the way where they're comfortable interacting. You know what I mean? So it's like, they may find themselves, you know, 
repressive from people and somebody might, you know, they might get shunned for not being understood. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then it's like, if the person has, uh, you know, the necessary environment, or, you know, if somebody, if they create that atmosphere around them or they have people to help them create that atmosphere that, that works for them, then it's kind of like, no matter what you have, it's, it's, uh, it's just a different perspective of life. You yeah. know, one that everybody can learn from, one that's like very unique in itself because no one else is like that. It's like, you know, you're your own person. And especially that's what I love about mental health too. Cause it's like, you know, psychology and all these things. Yep. Like there's always something, I feel like there's always something to discover. There's always something to define, you know, whether, cause it's like, there's one topic which could be anger, but there's so many different ways and so many different uh, uh, categories that are opened up within that one category to yeah. lead to so many different situations involving anger. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, uh, it's, um, it's very broad and it's like, you can always discover something new about that particular situation you're in. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, it's interesting. But to like, think about how, like, you don't, it's not something where you really get, you, we get that teaching on how to really work on our internal, on mm -hmm. ourself and on maintaining on, on our mental. A lot of times is you have to do things for, you know, if it's for work, if it's for family, if it's for friends. Mm -hmm. but like I said, like, and especially in those times now, like it's really the, the perfect time to really like work on the, like on the inside, work on yourself. And, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, like I was saying too, there's that thing where like some people, because of if it's genetics, uh, or if it's chemical imbalance, it can be, you know, some people can have it, um, you know, have more chances to have it to be predisposed to something than others. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in my family, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's someone I know that's for mental illness. I'm, you know, I'm pretty lucky there in terms of like genetics. I don't know about you or not really something. I don't know. No, it's more like, uh, you know, so my family has a, has a very, it's one thing, like they have a, a very broad understanding of, every, of like different things, you know, mm -hmm. we're all different type of people. And it's kind of like, you know, we all have like our, our, our problems that arise every now and then, you yeah. know what I mean? But it's like, just the, the variety of, of thought within my family is so, is so beautifully diverse mm -hmm. that it's kind of like, you know, on, whenever we all meet up for like those, those family gatherings and everything like that, you know, the, the conversations are something uh <laughs> are something really something else because it's like you'll find two total opposite perspectives and then they're they, they're, they're clashing with each other in a way where it's like mm -hmm. oh you know you, you, you agree with both of them mm -hmm. but you re you really know that like because they're both right in what they're saying like yeah. but you just find that like it's kind of interesting because it's like oh how's it gonna end you know this person brings up a good point this person also brings up a good point so it's kind of like there's just many different thoughts and ideas within my family that's like uh you know like i've seen the negative sides of them you know what i mean like uh whatever problems that they're going through anything like that it's like you know we all like i've had some problems too but they you know we kind of just support each other in those times so yeah it's yeah. nice it's nice because it's like it allows us to know more about each other mm -hmm. and more about like uh just the the uniqueness that we each have mm. you know what i mean so it's nice it's nice that was good. Like, you know, if you have like a, uh, that's the thing too. If you have like a strong structure in your yeah. life where it comes to like people that's around you, that mm -hmm. can really, that can make a really big impact when it comes to maintaining a good, uh, you know, mental health. Like, you know, I've been lucky enough where like, you know, I have really good friends. Mm -hmm. I've always been there. Even like, you know, I've had like tough times or stuff like that. Yeah. I'm always like, it's not like I was just alone. Like, you know, cause that's the factor too. It's like someone that doesn't have the support it doesn't feel love like mm -hmm. yeah, that's a factor that can lead to you know to mental health uh exactly even situation. even like people in in nice uh n you know nice relationships and such you know what i mean it's like if you don't have that right support you know and it's like you find that maybe you know a lot of people are with people who you know throw negativity their way and i'm saying like you know people who like you date some some girl that's like you know kind of always you know belittling you or you know, treating you some type of way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change your outlook on a lot of things. Yeah. It's going to change your outlook on yourself. So it's like in any situation, you know, you got to have that, that balance and you got to be able to recognize, you know, what's, what's positively coming in your life and what you should actually stay away from because that's going to affect your mental health 
or the mental illness that may arise from the stress that you keep on carrying because you're choosing not to get out of situations that bring you that stress or you know yeah. find different solutions for that situation yeah no that's good that's good mm-hmm. but uh, too i wanted to bring up something else all right what's up what's on the what's on the mental rolodex there let's see let's see oh yeah and two another thing about you know when it comes to maintaining a good mental health that's really good too is just you know do things that you enjoy so when we talk about the, the whole smiling aspect too is like you know when I do something like, okay, for example, for me, day to day now, it's like, okay, I watch a uh, comedy, for example. I watch something that makes me laugh. Even yeah. when I talk to my friends, like, I'm the one where I'm going to probably laugh the most, you know? And, mm-hmm. But that makes me, like, that's how I, I am, you know? I'm just, that's how it keeps me happy. Uh, yeah. else. Even like reading now, that's like, I'm not like doing any meditation, but that's almost, almost like my meditation now. Like when I read, mm-hmm. I'm locked in and I don't really think about, things in the news or other things in my life like i'm just like on yeah. you know, i'm just like focused and uh yeah so just do things that you like it's also another uh, uh strong uh, you know, factor that can you know mm-hmm. in a good mental health that's yeah. true and I, I like the aspect of reading because i mean yeah you know i was you know i'm sure you were the same way too you know we weren't like big readers when we were younger you know what i mean like uh in fact <laughs> Like, I would never finish a book that, like, I was assigned to to read. I just didn't like it. I would rather do other things back then. Yep. But so, you know, I was missing out on a, on a good part of life because, like, you know, now that I'm, uh, I start reading, because I'm reading, like, books that I'm actually interested in, mm. you know what I mean, instead of books that are assigned to me. <laughs> yep. So now that I'm, like, reading these these type of books, it's kind of like it's... it's um, I find myself lost in a trance when I read them. You know what I mean? It, it is like a meditation because you step into your your own world you know you open your own tv and you you visualize what you're actually reading and it, you actually trance out and you that visualization is real time mm-hmm. and it's exactly you know to the to what you're reading so it's actually really dope to to make your own movie rather than to um to watch one <laughs> yeah, no, it's interesting yeah but um like even like about like what we're living right now like it's not like you know i'm ignorant about what's happening day by day with the news and everything about the covid mm-hmm. but a lot of what's happening, I don't like just rush and watch it. Like I'm really doing other things where I'm just like kind of just disconnected most part and I learn it from other people. Yeah. You know, really. So I'm not the one where I'm going to take too much. Because I, I, I don't know. It's just for me, it's just I always try to just stay in that good mood. Uh, even music now, it's something like I always love music. But now like, man, like when I have the chance, I listen to a lot of music and it's, uh, you know, keeping me in a good mood, you know. So the music's a big mood changer. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. But yeah, man, for sure. You know, got to keep that mental health uh, healthy. <laughs> Always on the positive side, you know what I mean? And it's like, uh, going back to the, the um, what, were we, what were you saying before about uh, one moment you'll find yourself, oh, it's kind of like a roller coaster ride, how life is a roller coaster ride. You'll find yourself uh, finding yourself in great moments and you'll find yourself in, in moments where you're just like, oh, how did I end up like this? You know what I mean? So it's like, whether we, whether we like it or not, you can try to stay as much into the green zone as you can, but it's like, you know, all the, eventually a situation will arise that'll test you. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, it's kind of like, how do you, the question is, how do you stay on the positive side, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's kind of, I feel like that's where you gotta, you gotta look inward to find your answer for what that actually means to you. Cause it's like, whether it's finding or whether it's defining what, what peace really feels like to you or what, uh, what acceptance of all your situation really feels like to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, you kind of fly through life trying to live or, you know, having to live in the, in the present. So it's, uh, so, um, Oh man, I just uh, <laughs> I about that. Uh, the the you about the, like living in the present. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like um, living in the present because uh, you know you gotta you gotta recognize every situation as it happens, but then you got it, it's about the perspective that you have because you know you're trying to stay on the positive side of thinking, right? So it's like uh, you know you gotta put life to the test too. Life's giving you these moments so that you can you can you can see how you're gonna deal with them. You know, so something something happens to you, a negative situation happens to you, you know, you're, you're somebody like is in an angry mood, you know, they 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 step up to you and, and say something negative to, to you, you know what I mean? 
so it's like you have that moment to to ask yourself you know like how 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 do i you know what's the solution to this situation you know yeah. what i mean is it, is it gonna end up in a fight like you know is this guy too unstable and like you know is gonna bring out bring that out in you or is it like are you gonna are you gonna be able to find another solution that where you guys can actually compromise and and uh you know lead the situation in a, on a positive note because i mean if you can do that in one situation what's stopping you from finding a solution for the next Mm. you know what i mean you, life throws negativity at you like turn it into something positive you know what i mean like you, i feel like that's what that's what life's kind of about you gotta you gotta deal with these situations but you gotta find out what the answer is to them yeah yeah no that's good but uh except too like i was just thinking while you're talking like yeah the the aspect of just living in the present that's the thing with mental health is too is that like when you think about the future or you think mm -hmm. about past that can affect it but you know, for me, it's like, I just live like the present time, you know, that's really the only thing you can really control. Yes, the past is the past, but the future, we don't know, you know, mm -hmm. you can think about it, you can stress about it, but I would yeah. rather just stress about what's happening now. And as of right now, like, you know, it's just, um, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to do as, you know, I'm just really like everything I do, it's, it's mostly really positive. Like even like, oh, you know, when we talk about mental health in relation to social media sometimes mm -hmm. how social they say that social media can affect someone's um your know, mental health like for me when i'm on you know social media it's what i what i usually watch and i do it's positive like uh, you know if it's something funny you know it's just something entertaining you know music wise that's what i do but anything else negative or even like if there's see stuff that's just like really bad or as uh, i hear stories about like people like with comments and everything i'm just like man i'm lucky i don't have to deal with those things you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on my end so i feel like if you're able to have most of the things you have it's it's positive in your life yeah all right so my brother question time okay go ahead all right <laughs> so okay so um you know t on the topic of staying within positivity and stuff like that like what is a practice you find yourself doing you know that keeps you you know let's let's give you the worst day you know like let's put you in a situation where you're having the worst day of your life you know what i mean or you know something around that so what would you what would be your technique to coming back to a more positive outlook on life more positive outlook on life mm -hmm. um you know what? Like, what's your what's your go to? You know, people have the go to. You know, ice cream makes them feel good. <laughs> Watching some like you know movies makes them feel good. Like, what what's your, what's your go to? Hmm. You know what? In the times where it's you know maybe you have like a bad day or something. Yeah. You no know, music is one where for me that does a big big impact. Mm -hmm. What else? Hmm. Honestly, I'm someone that's not. You know, I don't have those. Uh, you know like food thing where like if I feel bad, like, you know, I'm gonna eat ice cream all night long. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't had that yet. Drinking wise, <laughs> now I only drink socially. Like even <laughs> the cold, like since the cold, I haven't drank it like a month. Like if I don't, I'm out, look, when I'm alone, I cannot drink. Yeah. I be yeah. around the people, that's the only time. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. You're doing the same thing? Oh, oh yeah, you absolutely. Know? Yeah, that, was, that wasn't wine, you just saw me <laughs> drink. <laughs> Look, man, I might post a video and then you're going to be like, be like hey, yeah. man is drinking during podcast? <laughs> He's not serious. He's not serious. That's too funny. But yeah, man. <laughs> but, um, All right. For me, honestly, it's not like I do something that's very drastic, different, drastically different. Yeah. If I have a bad day, yeah, okay, you have a bad day. But the next day, I, I try my best to just move on from it. And like, I just do my regular just what i do you know yeah so but, would you say like so you have a pretty good like you have a strong faith or idea that like things are going to end up turning out all right oh yeah you like, know, like, oh, it's like sleep it off you know or like you know you'll end up in a better state yeah because the thing is like i know there's going to be tough days so if you know there's going to be tough days and when it happens mm -hmm. you're i'm not i'm not surprised so it happens you deal with it and then you move on because I don't believe it's going to be like that, you know, every day where you know, I have a bad day. Like, no, like, I feel like most of my days, it's, it's great. It's awesome. So I always yeah. have that like positive mindset. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then, like, I remember like my mom one time, she told me like how I was, I was always been like a happy kid. 
So I think it's not something that just like, it just started recently where I had that positive mindset. I think I've always been, you know, or for most of the time, like happy. Positive and guy. I think now too, I communicate, like if I feel bad, I need to yeah. talk with people. If it's with family or I need like someone to talk to, I'm going to do it more than when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk much. So if I had a bad day, I might have just kept it to myself and you would have never known, you know. And that's mm -hmm. the thing too about like, when I talk about the smile thing, you, someone can fake it. Like, you know, someone can, you know, when you go on your regular life and, you know, when you, say, you see someone, you know, you're like, hey, how's it going, man? Yeah. Uh, I'm good. You? And then you see the same, you know, generic answer. But then yeah. they're probably having the worst, like their worst day ever or they yeah. had something happening but you mm -hmm. wouldn't know, right? But that's where for me it's like, yeah, I know it's just... But that's the thing with like probably with people you're not really tight with, understood. You're not gonna probably gonna say everything to everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. You're really like that's your circle. It's friends or family. Yep. You got you got to talk. That's 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 one thing I would say. Music, talking, and then just trying to keep that strong mindset just to stay positive. Because you know, I can have mm -hmm. a bad day, but I don't think I. It's not like it's for me a bad day is not something that's maybe for someone else that would be like traumatic mm -hmm. you know never really had like a traumatic event or something that could really be like okay you really feel bad for a long time maybe you know i had i lost people you know family or something yeah that can affect you for sure yeah um yeah how about you yeah for me yeah. let's see, let's see how i bring myself back <laughs> all right music is, is definitely is definitely a big one i gotta take too so i mean like music is, is a big mood changer you know so uh um, that's on the list i would say uh it's kind of like, okay, uh, I, I, I try those breathing techniques, you know what I mean? Or meditation, but you know, when you're actually in a, a, a situation where you might find it, it negative, you know, sometimes it might not help. <laughs> or you gotta be really skilled at it. And maybe I'm just not that skilled at it yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, uh, I, I try that. Sometimes it works, you know, other times it, it's kind of, it doesn't. Uh, another one would be, uh, just kind of trying to remember that um, I've been dealing with many situations, you know, with this long life of mine, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like every situation, you know, every situation uh, has brought me to this moment, you know? So it's like, I kind of have to just accept the fact that I've been, I've dealt with, you know, emotions before. So it's like, eventually I'm going to find myself out of it. So long as, you know, so long as I, I, I think positive and, you know, and remember kind of like, um, what brought me out of previous situations. I've been trying to catch that these days. I've been, I've been trying to see that. I've been trying to see what, what starts things and, you know, how things actually end, you know, how situations get solved, how, how situations or how bad situations happen. I feel like it's, it's more important to remember how bad things happen than how good things happen. Oh, well, okay, it's probably really balanced in reality, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Because if you remember how how something bad happens, it's kind of like you can see things coming a mile away, and which you can be that you can be that thing that stops that thing from happening in the first place. You know what I mean? But then, yeah, it, it goes the same. It, it goes the same way with uh, with good things too, because it's like mm -hmm. if you know how good things happen, you can create those situations, and you know it's kind of like you know oh frankie wants to start a family boom you know he's gonna bring that family energy he's gonna be that he's gonna be that parent he's gonna be this, this type of person you know what i mean because it's like you're that's what you want around you that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna uh, bring wait, into your life are you saying i'm i'm gonna be a great dad wait what <laughs> <laughs> yeah man now nah, you go you're gonna be a funny dad man you're gonna be a great dad i'm not gonna lie <laughs> hey, man look man i'm not i'm not gonna say anything about the future like i said uh huh. The present. So, ladies, this man's looking. This man. This man. <laughs> Yo, he's peacocking right now. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm. 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 I'm staying home, man. I'm staying home. I'm respecting the the COVID nineteen regulations. I don't know about you, uh -huh. but I ain't going yeah, outside. Who's gonna be that one that's gonna bring you out of quarantine? Who's gonna be the one that's worth it? <laughs> uh, nobody I met. Nobody I met. <laughs> nope. nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what else? What else? Yeah. Oh, actually. Mm -hmm. the book, just one last quote I wanted to say. That mm -hmm. can be a good uh, ending. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, look. So that's another quote, too, where he says, um, uh, wait, wait, wait. 
Okay, wait, wait. You know when I was saying about overthinking? Yeah. So he has like one part where he talks about just think less. So if you practice with, you know, just the breathing, the conscious, he calls it the conscious breathing of, mm. your, of your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, um, it can, uh, it can just lead, uh, you know, it would just make you more calm, uh, mm -hmm. just to relax. And then that could also lead to just stop about thinking and be obsessed with uh, past sufferance and mm -hmm. also um, worrying about the future. And mm -hmm. then really, uh, it just comes back to just the life that's really beautiful in this uh, present moment. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool because like I said, it's just for me, it's just, man, hey man like it's not like for me my life it's it's horrible like it's you know it's it's good you know yes mm -hmm. you know, what's happening right now you have to adapt and things like ah you know exactly, honestly, exactly. Like, but mm -hmm. no nah, i really you know it could be worse so i'm i'm not complaining and uh yeah no it's you know that's true that's true yeah that's very true that's very true yeah man mm -hmm. life is what you make it right you know like uh, I, I really like the quote or the the saying how like life is all about perspective because i feel like that's a really big a really uh it's like a keynote you know because it's kind of like how you look at situations how you look at your situations how you look at how you're what, how you're doing how you're feeling where you're going mm -hmm. like all of that is perspective and it can change it can change with your mood or with your emotions or your your mental patterns you know of thought it's like so you gotta you gotta keep track of those things you know you gotta you gotta recognize kind of how you're feeling in the moment <laughs> you know identify what what you're thinking about that's in the past that you you can't change is it relevant for you to think that way right now or do you have better things to think about you know what i mean yeah and then there's like uh, the things of the future you know what do you want to achieve what are you doing right now that's going to lead you to that to that future you know what kind of what kind of habits have you picked up that's going to make the future you live the lifestyle they want because it's it, they turned it into second nature they're living it naturally you know what i mean so it's like i feel like you know every every person can get to that to that state it just takes it takes that reflection it takes that inward looking you know instead of uh, uh you know hey social media is great you know it's, it's great to connect to the outside world but if you if uh, if, if it's not balanced if you're taking more on the outside than you are on the inside then you, you know you're you're risk getting lost in, uh, along the path you know <laughs> yeah no that's the whole point thing it's like man just yeah like just a balance but i believe like if you connect more with you then mm -hmm. you're still gonna you can still connect with the outside but really make more of the priority your internal that's right that's right yep. yep and i think to conclude too it's just like man just mental health it's uh even if you don't you're not suffering for anything it's it's a constant it's just constant just work like it's if it's like, you know when we talk about like just our body like our uh, health our physical health yeah mental health can affect that too so just like if you're working if you know you're working on your physical work on your uh, mental health the same thing that's true you know? that's true it has to be it has to be a priority and mm -hmm. uh, you know just speak for everybody man just try to do things that just you know maintains it uh you know because i think i probably i don't know if i said on the first episode ever but you know just with like our whole even like just uh image of our uh, not image but our uh, our mm -hmm. logo where it's like the whole brain thing it really yeah. comes back for me like when it when it comes to mental health it's like the brain we have yes it's powerful and it's great but it's also fragile like it's mm -hmm. it's not immune to you know to, to having uh you know to something that can own difficulties <laughs> exactly yeah, so yeah. best it's, it's always a good thing to just to work on it you know mm -hmm. day by day and uh hey some days are not easier than others and for some people it would it, it can be harder uh mm -hmm. certain things or factors but yeah. um yeah man it's just for me it's just you know work on it man yeah i work on it that's uh, i mean it's with you for life you know you might as well you, you know make it the best that it can be too while you're trying to do that with yourself it is a part of yourself so it has to be part of the uh, workout resume <laughs> yeah, really, really that, like if i can you know do things or or really, you know, like in the book I'm, I'm reading where I can really just think that makes me happy and mm -hmm. keep me joy. And, you know, I can smile a lot. Man, I think I'm going to find that, that, that good internal, uh, you know, space in me where, uh, yep. you know, I'll be able to, to block those stressors, those stressors that yep. <laughs> go, you know, make me go crazy.
Yeah. 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 Okay. If everybody, if everybody, uh, kind of, uh, you know, opens, uh, opens up their, their minds and, uh, kind of, you know, finds out mm. what they're, you know, more of who they are and what they're about. Instead of running away from things, they identify with those things and change them for the better. Then it's like, yeah, man, you know, it's, it's no wonder it's, it's, uh, the most powerful cure is, um, is talking to somebody mm. because, you know, that person who's maybe finding the answer through their inward journey, yeah. you know, might just enlighten or open that, the mind of that person who's struggling, making them see that, damn, I never thought about that before. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, so it's like, um, yeah, you know, we owe it to ourselves to distance ourselves from everybody because we don't want to get people sick. But in the meantime, let's open ourselves to ourselves and let's find a lot of answers that, uh, you know, can save our lives or even the people who are being affected heavily by mental illness. Yeah. But also too, for me, it's like probably four or five years ago before I've been going to university in the field of psychology, mm -hmm. I, I didn't really take mental health seriously. I didn't really think about it. They didn't know much about it, just the, the overall. But yeah. then after actually studying for four years mm -hmm. and still reading some things about it, I'm like, yeah, now it's something like I you know, I take it seriously. Like, I know it's something that it's really important and we shouldn't think about it like it's something as a taboo or someone's yeah. suffering from it. Like, no, we should just treat it like it's, it's another, it's mm -hmm. another, um, I don't want to say it's a, it's a eh, disease, but just some, something you can, you can just work on, treat it and yeah. it function very well. Like hey, disease is just the opposite of ease, right? <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a horrible thing, but it's, yeah, no, man, it's just on the other side of the, of the ease. Yeah, but so, I think it really, for me, it really helped me, like, yeah, maybe if I don't do something in psychology in my life, like, professionally, I think for just my life, mm -hmm. it made a big difference. It might maybe, not saying it saved me from not, not having a mental or something, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, like, it really opened me to a lot when it yeah. comes to that, you know, to mental health and to just knowing more of myself. And even I just like me now and me before, like before even going, I'm like going to school in psychology. I was like, yeah, no, I, I've, you know, I've grown a lot, changed a lot. And I mm -hmm. think that was just, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I think I, I have those. I, I know what to do if I had to deal with something uh, better than yeah. it was four or five years ago when I was younger. Definitely. Yo, which brings me to my next fun filled question. Uh oh, would, if you had the choice, would you rather mm -hmm. take uh, or get 10, let's see, $5 million this very moment, $5 million all to yourself, no strings attached, mm -hmm. or go back five years, or no, let's say 10 years, 10 years with the mindset that you have now. Mm -hmm. Go back 10 years and uh, reset your life a bit, or somebody gives you I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, yeah, five million dollars. I feel like that's the five million dollars is good enough, <laughs> good enough to, for a lifetime, you know. <laughs> that's a lot, that's way more than I'm making right now. Man, <laughs> let's see, five million, or you said go back 10 years ago with that, the mindset I have now, the exact mindset you have now. Mm. Oh, five million dollars, you, you know what? I wouldn't take none of the two. I know I'm scrubbing, <laughs> you know why? Because look, the first what? thing is. Five million, like it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of money, but that's not necessarily going to correlate to me being as happy as I am now. It mm -hmm. might even make me feel and then long term, like when, when we talk about mental health, it's a mental illness, something that's long term, yeah. maybe temporary, there might be some blessings there, here and there, but in the future, like is it, is it going to be something really that's going to create that, you know, that's, that certainty? inside of me that peacefulness uh um, i don't i don't believe so necessarily and then mm -hmm. the 10 years ago if i go back with that same mindset yep i think they would just that's that's part of just your life like you're not your mindset is always gonna evolve because mm -hmm. something greater i think as you get older you mature to experiences make you change the mindset fix yep. it um you know it's yeah so i don't think yeah it would be impossible to have that mindset 10 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah. Frank, you're yeah. not going to skip my question though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, you uh, got to pick one. <laughs> damn. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, you know what, man? 10 years with like, the 
what you got now? Look, 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 you know what? Five million dollars. You know what? What's it gonna be? Hmm. You know what? Uh huh. I'm gonna be selfish for once. <laughs> I can with the five million. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but look, man, I, you yeah. know, I, I can share some. I think I can share money to people. You know, my family. Mm -hmm. I might. Yo, you know what? With five million. We could actually do something with the podcast. We could build a great. <laughs> that's true. I think I have like bed. That's, that's really helps in things. Equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even if I have a business project. Oh, you know what? Yeah, five million. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the way you built up to that, priceless. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. But it's to you know to do to do things, not just to spend on. Mm -hmm. I don't need uh, ten cars. Uh, I don't need. I don't even. I don't even have my license. So what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, gonna have ten yeah. cars in the garage just to just to for people to look at it. Just uh, to flex. <laughs> doing on Instagram, like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. It's like I'm not driving today, but here, look at my car though. <laughs> Even the people that drive and they're, they're like rich billionaires that have like 20, 30 cars. They yeah. Only drive one car one time and they buy the other one. It's like uh, you're just going to a cycle of just I don't know. Just, yeah, it's like it's like. Well, you're, it's like your car is a, a trend. You're trying to, you know, a new trend for a new year. It's yeah. like, hey, I drove the Lambo last year. Let me rock the Rari. Like, <laughs> but you know, material stuff like that. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's always temporary. It's never, it's, it, that's not the, that's not going to lead you to that, that fulfillment, that, that joy. That fulfillment, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, I think that was a strong episode. That was good. That was good. Hey, that was solid. And just to tell our fans, if everybody watching, or even if you know, there's people new who knows. Mm -hmm. but, uh, hey, man, we're one episode left. That's we're right. Finishing the tome one, so mm -hmm. the chapter one of our man, we're up, ten episodes. That's crazy. Ten episodes. Yeah, we're going somewhere. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, it's yeah. good. It's good. But we got you know more to do. There's there's. Oh, That's right. I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. for you know what else we can do. Even like in the next chapter, Tom Two, uh, oh, yeah. we're gonna add new stuff. I have you know surprises probably. You know, I said mm -hmm. I wanted to have guests, so that's still in plans. So yeah, that's right. Yep, well, yep. Thank you, good people, good people, for joining us on episode nine of Conversation for Days. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Lilo and Frankie, you know, it's the episode because it's gonna be a special one. It'll be the last episode of Tom One. Oh, I'm about to cry. I'm going to have to get ready for Tome 2 because it's going to be a lot more dope. <laughs> it's part of the evolution, you know? That's right. Yeah, we got to evolve too, Every right? You know, we get better. It's like, you know, writing a book. Your first, your first book might be I, but then the second one, woo! That's it's right. Fire. The third one, get better Tome writing. Tome 2's got to be better than Tome 1. <laughs> Man, I might have to, maybe after Tome 2, I might, I might actually write a real book. Who knows? Or you. Do it up. Do it up. Mm hmm that's right yep. that's right yeah i'm actually writing a comic though so you know stay tuned for that too <laughs> that's gonna take forever to finish though so <laughs> no you, know, you do music so you know when you drop music you can always shout it out on the podcast okay don't be hey. shy <laughs> all right all right well you know i got i got one track coming out so it's uh you know just just, just watch instagram i'm not really that big an announcer but you know mm -hmm. whenever i have something to say i'll, I'll say it so, you know, yeah. stay tuned for that. <laughs> Yo, look, since you know your credit when it comes to music, I was mm -hmm. thinking of, of a theme song. For the uh, song. You want a theme song? I can put the FD broadcast. Okay. FD broadcast. We're the podcasters. And oh, our and their ratings dropped heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, stop hating, man. I'm brave, okay? I take risks. I know I can't sing. I do everything for my podcast, man. I put, I put my, put my heart, my Your blood, sweat, and tears, huh? I, oh, I love that quote. I people say that. <laughs> That's funny, but yeah, you know, we'll we'll, should, we'll fish up something for you guys. So yeah, it'll be we're, we're working, man. It's in work, in progress. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, but hey, All right, thank you. Have a good one, Khalilo. You too. Take Always care. Talk. We'll we'll do that time. again next week. Yes, sir. All right, peoples. Take care. All right, peace. Take care of mental health. You already know. That's right. That's right. Bye.